Hey guys, this is Hankit and welcome to the Google Cloud Platform task series. We'll do a list of basic tasks to get ourselves familiar with the Google Cloud provider, that is GCP. We are following the DevOps engineer and SRE learning path, which is also available at cloudskillsboost.google slash paths. For more details, you can always refer to my repository, dcloudterminal01 slash learn hyphen DevOps. In this task, we have the following objectives. First, we will set up three GCP projects. We will create a monitoring workspace in one of those projects and link other projects to that monitoring workspace. We will create and configure monitoring groups in the monitoring workspace project. After that, we will create and test uptime checks. Finally, we will create some custom dashboards. The total amount of time we will be spending will be around 20 to 23 minutes. So let's begin. In this task, we will have three different projects. The first project where we will set up the monitoring workspace and the other two projects where we will have resources that need to be monitored. This is as per Google's recommended best practices and we are going to follow the same in this task. Let's have a look at the projects that we have. I'll start the first one. This is a project which will act as a monitoring project we will set up the monitoring workspace in this one the rest of the two projects will be worker one and worker two project we will start nginx from marketplace in the other two projects now let's select the worker one project we'll go to marketplace Search for Nginx open source package by Bitnami. Let's launch it. Let's give the name as Nginx stack one. Worker one. And we'll keep everything as default and deploy. Now let's repeat the same thing with worker2 project. We'll again go to marketplace, search for nginx open source package by Vietnami, launch We'll give the name as nginx stack2 worker2 keep everything as default and deploy now let's go back to monitoring project search for monitoring Note that the metric scope is only showing one project for now. So we'll go to settings and we will add GCP projects. And let's select worker one and worker two. We'll use this project as the scoping project. Confirm. Notice that metric scope is now showing three projects. By this time, the instances in worker one and worker two projects should be ready. So let's go back to worker one and add labels to that instance. We'll go to VM instances. Let's copy the public IP. So our worker one instance is ready. Select the instance. Click on edit. And let's add some labels to this instance. We will add component equal to 
front end and let's also add stage equal to dev save the changes and click on save I will duplicate this tab so we have our new labels added let's move to worker 2 project let's go to VM instances copy the public IP and our VM2 instance is ready as well so I'll select this click on edit again add labels the second label we will keep as stage equal to test so I will save the changes and click on save now we have added labels to both of our instances we'll go back to monitoring project note that I'm already in monitoring project and let's select monitoring and let's create groups as per our newly added labels so I'll select groups create a group we'll give the name as front-end servers type is tag we'll use component equals front-end click on done note that we have two VM instances currently selected so let's create them now let's create a subgroup for this we will give the name as frontend dev let's add a criterion over here the first criterion will remain the same val equals frontend note that we have two vm instances right now selected over here i'll add another criterion and this time I'll give stage equals let's give dev and click on done note that we have one VM instance selected we will keep the combined criteria operator as and and click on create so both of our group and subgroups are created now let's create uptime checks for front-end servers and select create uptime check let's give the title as uptime check for front-end servers group let's select next we'll keep the protocol as HTTP we want instance applies to a group let's select the group as front-end servers path is slash we'll move to next and let's test the current setup so we are getting a 200 OK response code let's select next let's go to manage notification channels I'll give the email here which I got from temp-mail.org website 
this is the temporary email address i'll save this go back and refresh so let's select the test channel click okay and create so all of our uptime texts are passing now let's go back to worker one project and stop our nginx instance we'll select compute engine vm instances let's stop this instance now we will go back to monitoring project let's wait for the changes to reflect so it's been like 2 to 3 minutes since we stopped the worker 1 instance and as you can see the uptime checks have started to fail now and we will see that the uptime checks are still passing for worker 2 but they are no longer passing for worker 1 and we can check the latency graph as well and you will see that for worker 1 that is nginx 1 instance the latency is 10 seconds 10 seconds is the span for which the uptime check waits for the response to come from from the endpoint and that's why we are getting 10 seconds as a latency on the other hand the latency for worker 2 is around 0.42 seconds 0.2 0.28 seconds and these are the rest of the values for worker 2 now let's go to alerting and we'll see that there is one incident that has fired up and we should have received an email for this as well so we received an email for worker nginx stack worker 1 and this is the email now let's check the metrics explorer i will select a metric vm instances uptime check and check past and over here as well we will see that the uptime check for nginx stack one worker one instance is giving zero now now let's group this by checked resource id click on ok let's examine the changes we will see that this resource id is essentially giving the value as zero and this is the resource id of instance one so let's go back to vm instances I and we should see that this is the instance id over here and if i press command f we will see that this is the instance id of worker one now let's go back to logging and let's select the log name as uptime checks apply run query we will check the labels and we will see that this is the label 
let's copy this go back to monitoring go to uptime checks select this one and we'll see that this is the same check id which is present over here now let's go back to worker one project and start our instance back again Let's move to monitoring project. Let's go to monitoring dashboards. We'll create a dashboard. Select line chart. Click on advanced. And we need VM instance, uptime check, check past. Now let's add a filter. We want this to be instance ID. Let's say equals to, I'll select the value as this one. Click on done. So this is our uptime check for nginx instance one and as you can see for this period of period of time we did not have any value because our instance was down and now it's back up again let's add another chart to our dashboard so i'll select our dashboard and click on edit now let's add another line And we want this to be VM instance CPU utilization. Let's add a filter. We will give instance name and let's give the value as worker one. Done. So this is the CPU utilization. Our dashboard is ready. I will just toggle auto refresh to on and close the editor now let's move to worker 2 project and ssh into our instance We will SSH into this instance and install some libraries. After that, we will simulate traffic from this instance to our worker one instance. So we have logged in. Let's install Apache to utils. Meanwhile, I'll go back to worker one project and copy the public IP of our Nginx stack one instance. Let's give URL equal to HTTP Now let's simulate some load to our instance. We waited for our almost around one minute and we will simulate more load to the instance now. So we have completed this as well. 
let's go back to our dashboard and check for changes and we will see that there was a spike in cpu utilization and it went up till 170 percent so this completes our task for today that's all for this video see you in the next one